Hello, Gene Schwimmer here. Welcome to today's vlog. Today I want to pick up on a topic that I talked about in an earlier vlog. I think maybe more than one earlier vlog. A complaint that we've been hearing from our Democratic friends, specifically the talking heads on MSNBC, CNN. Here's a headline, MSNBC's Hayes. Crazy to me, everyone's still carrying coronavirus briefings live. On Monday's broadcast of MSNBC's All In, host Chris Hayes stated that it's, quote, crazy, unquote, to him that media outlets are still taking the White House's coronavirus briefings live, quote, when you've got the My Pillow guy getting up there talking about reading the Bible, unquote. Hayes began by saying that Trump uses the briefings as, quote, propaganda sessions, regularly spewing misinformation and lies when he is at the podium. They have morphed into something akin to Trump rallies without the crowds, unquote, and without much viewership from CNN, I would also mention, and MSNBC, because their ratings are really nothing to write home about. There are not that many people watching. So first of all, given that Chris Hayes is on MSNBC, I don't really understand his complaint about MSNBC broadcasting Trump's briefings because nobody's watching MSNBC anyways, except for your average far left liberal who is going to disbelieve anything that Trump says anyway. So I don't see the problem. I guess the problem is that Fox News and other stations are broadcasting these briefings. I'm going to help him out with his problem nevertheless. But first of all, I just want to mention this Mike Lendell, my pillow thing that they're worried about. If you saw yesterday's briefing, which would be Monday, I'm recording this on Tuesday, you're seeing it on a Wednesday. But if you watch that briefing, Trump had some of the captains of modern industry coming up to the podium in the Rose Garden talking about what they have been doing to help get us through this virus, mostly producing masks and ventilators, things like that, or expediting the production of these items or their delivery. I think they had somebody from UPS up there at that briefing. But Mike Lindell, he's the My Pillow guy that you see on TV. He makes pillow casings and sheets. Uh, no, he may make the whole pillow. You know, I haven't really paid attention. But he was talking about his company gearing up to produce masks. I think they already are, but they're gearing up to produce 50,000 masks a day, I think. I don't remember if it was a day or a week. I think it was a day. I'm pretty sure he was on TV earlier today talking about it. But as you can see, liberal talking heads such as Chris Hayes, they have a problem with that because, well, I don't know why. I guess it's the part about reading the Bible. I don't understand this war on religion, this problem with religion about the very mention of God. I don't understand it. I just put it out there. That is obviously a big problem with them, number one problem, and number two, that in their view it gives a platform to Trump. As Trump himself said at that briefing, if the president can't have a voice, then we don't have a democracy. That's not democracy. He is exactly right. But this part about lies, I don't think that Dr. Birx is lying. I don't think that Mike Pence is lying. I especially don't think that Dr. Fauci is lying or these industry heads are lying. We hear from them too. We don't just hear from Trump. I would also mention, and this is getting to my main point for today, that these briefings are maybe an hour and a half, more or less. The stations, Chris Hayes, he's got his whole show to point out the quote unquote Trump lies. He's got all that time. But the point I want to get to is that if 
what Trump is doing is a campaign rally, if that's what he thinks it is, a Trump campaign rally without the crowds, to use Chris Hayes's language, if that's what he feels, then it would seem that the fairness doctrine would kick in. And Biden, as a presumptive nominee, maybe we have to wait till the primaries are over. But I think the networks would do it anyhow, MSNBC, CNN. They can do it if they think that it's harmful for Trump to have an hour and a half every day. They can give Joe Biden an hour and a half every day, broadcast Trump's 90-minute briefing, and then immediately following that briefing, broadcast a 90-minute briefing from Biden. In fact, they could even give him twice as much time, three times as much time. Let's watch Biden talk. Let the nation see Biden, compare Biden's performance to Trump's. Compare the substance of what Biden says to the substance of what Trump says. Let the public compare any medical expert whom Biden wants to call to appear with him with the opinions, the statements of doctors Burks and Fauci. Perfectly fair, solves the problem. Go ahead, CNN, MSNBC, put your money where your mouth is. I don't think they're going to do it. In fact, I am 100% confident that they would never do that because Biden can't be coherent for, I don't know, five minutes, let alone 90. But there it is. Make up your own minds. And while you're doing that, thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with anybody you think would also like the video. You can put any comments or suggestions to help Joe Biden and our Democratic friends. Put those in the comment section below the video. You can put any questions you might have as well as any suggestions for future topics. I would love to get more subscribers. If you can find it in your heart, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And finally, come back and see me again. I look forward to seeing all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.